Hey, this is Frank. We are the first masonhood classes over for today at the park. I'm taking a walk afterwards. And I was just thinking, I can still walk. You know, a lot of guys and gals can't walk anymore, whether it's from uh, military action, accidents, diseases, or whatever. You know, I'm blessed to have two feet that I can walk on. You know, many years ago, I had a motorcycle wreck. And uh, this is how it happened. I ride in the back roads in North Carolina. I usually go about 70 on the back roads, two lanes. Nobody's usually around. So I slowed my Harley down to about 40 coming into a town, little town. And uh, I should say small city. I was out on the very edge of it, so it's like the country there. Anyway, early in the morning, one car on the road and me. Come up to an intersection. They got a red light, I got a green. They start to go through, then they decided to go. So I hit my brakes, and I felt the rear end of the bike sliding to the right, and I saw my front wheel caving in the door of their car, and I started, felt my body going in the air. Well, I woke up, face down in the street on the other side of the car, but I woke up. That was a big deal to me that day. Yeah, it will be to you too. I didn't dare move. I didn't know if I was paralyzed or had any other kind of injuries. Eventually, after checking myself, I realized that I could move, I could walk, I could stand up. So in, in the midst of all that, the, uh, the driver of the car comes over and started yelling at me for running a red light when they ran the red light. So instead of offering help, <laughs> that was some kind of help, huh? Anyway, so today I'm taking a walk. It kind of reminded me of that accident. You know, I'm laying in the street face down. My Harley's over there with the front end ripped off of it and messed up, but I walked away. And the thing of it is, if you ride, you know how few people ever survive a motorcycle wreck, especially that kind. It's almost always fatal. Why good Lord spared me that day, I don't know. You know, earlier on, I thought I was lucky. I know a lot better now that he was watching over me. That's a true story. Take it to heart.